Oh, hello. I brought in the models of the cubic structures. We have three of them, the simple cubic. The simple cubic is eight corner atoms shown here, but the repeat unit or the unit cell is not the eight atoms. It would be the shaved top, bottom, left, right, front, back to give us a smaller unit where one eighth of each of these atoms is inside the smaller cube or repeat unit or unit cell. This is the simple cubic because there's no atom inside, simply eight corners. This is known as the BCC or body-centered cubic. BCC for body-centered cubic because there's an atom in the center. That atom is completely enclosed inside the unit cell which consists of eight one-eighth corner atoms and the whole atom there. This is known as the FCC, FCC or face-centered cubic because there is not an atom in the body but there's an atom in each of the six faces, top, bottom, left, right, front, and back. So we have a total of three atoms because of the faces. Each one of these face atoms is half contained in the unit cell. So we have six times one half for three. Plus we have our eight corner atoms at one eighth each. So this one contains four atoms inside the unit cell. This contains two and this one contains one. We can use this information to calculate the density of a solid. And I made up a little problem here. It says that we have an element and the molar mass has been measured to be 281.6 grams per mole. It's known that this thing goes body-centered cubic from x-ray diffraction data. And we need one more piece of information. We need to know something about its atomic radius. So this has an atomic radius of, let's see, 188.2 picometers, picometers. And the question at hand is, let's use this information and determine what the density of this is. See, it's not fair to go ahead and determine the density of one atom because one atom is not indicative of its structure. The unit cell is indicative of the structure because it takes into account the mass, meaning the atoms, and the empty space. So if we use the unit cell, which is the repeat unit, we have space as well as the atoms. Well, this is a two-step process. We're going to calculate the density, which is mass over volume. Step one, how about the mass? Step number one, the mass. We get that from the molar mass. The molar mass has been determined to be 281.6 grams per mole. We're going to go ahead and say, look, divide this by Avogadro's number to get the grams per atom. Multiply it by two because there are two atoms inside one of these BCC unit cells. So the math looks like this. We have 281.6 grams per mole. Let's divide by Avogadro's number. One of anything, a mole, is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd of anything. This would be atoms. And there are two atoms in this BCC unit cell. And I come up with a value of 9.35 times 10 to the negative 22nd grams per BCC cell. Again, 281.6 is its grams per mole or molar mass. Divide by Avogadro's number to find out how many grams per atom, but the structure has two atoms in it, one in the center and one because of eight times one eighth of the corner atoms. So that's step number one. Step number two will be the volume. I'm going to make a little note about volume with a circle because we're not ready to just go across here for the volume. The volume of this unit cell will be one of these sides from the center of each atom cubed. So we'll go ahead and determine what this side is based on that atom radius. Well, we are given that the radius is equal to 188.2 picometers. And before I do anything, I would like to change picometers into centimeters. We're going to end up with grams per centimeters cubed. Change it into centimeters now. Worry about the units now and get that over with. I'm going to show all my work and show two unit conversions, picometers into meters and then into centimeters. There are 1 times 10 to the 12th picometers 
in one meter. Picometer is an extremely small unit. And then 100 centimeters in one meter. And I calculate this to be 1.88 times 10 to the negative eighth centimeters. Now that's still the radius of one of the atoms. We would like to know the side of that unit cell. We have a formula for the side of that unit cell. For a BCC unit cell, for an SC and a face-centered cubic, the formula is different. For a BCC unit cell, our formula is 4R is equal to S times the square root of 3. So we have our R, we plug in, and uh, go ahead and just plug in an R value right there. S is going to be 4R divided by the square root of 3. And S is equal to, oh, let's see here, 4.35 times 10 to the negative eighth centimeters. Well, one final step for the volume. Volume is equal to the side cubed. So volume is equal to the side cubed. So we'll go ahead and cube this number. 4.35 times 10 to the negative eighth centimeters cubed. And I calculate this to be 8.21 times 10 to the negative 23. The number gets cubed, 8.21 times 10 to the negative 23rd. And the centimeters get cubed as well. So our units are one of volume, centimeters cubed. So we've got our density as mass right there. This is the mass of one of the unit cells. And this is the volume of the unit cell, so a simple division. I calculate mass divided by volume to be 11.4 grams per cubic centimeter. A cubic centimeter is also known as a milliliter. And people traditionally write densities in grams per milliliter.